by him who is the great announcement. The All-Merciful is come invested with undoubted sovereignty. The balance hath been appointed, and all them that dwell on earth have been gathered together. The trumpet hath been blown, and lo, all eyes have stared up with terror, and the hearts of all who are in the heavens and on the earth have trembled, except them whom the breath of the verses of God hath quickened, and who have detached themselves from all things. This is the day whereon the earth shall tell out her tidings. The workers of iniquity are her burdens, could ye but perceive it. The moon of idle fancy hath been cleft, and the heavens hath given out a palpable smoke. We see the people laid low, awed with the dread of thy Lord, the Almighty, the Most Powerful. The crier hath called out, and men have been torn away. So great hath been the fury of his wrath. The people on the left hand sigh and bemoan. The people on the right abide in noble habitations. They quaff the wine that is life indeed from the hands of the all-merciful, and are, verily, the blissful. The earth hath been shaken, and the mountains have passed away, and the angels have appeared, rank on rank, before us. Most of the people are bewildered in their drunkenness, and wear on their faces the evidence of anger. Thus have we gathered together the workers of iniquity. We see them rushing on towards their idol. Say, none shall be secured this day from the decree of God. This indeed is a grievous day. We point out to them those that led them astray. They see them, and yet recognize them not. Their eyes are drunken, they are indeed a blind people. Their proofs are the calumnies they uttered. Condemned are the calumnies of God, the help in peril, the self-subsisting. The evil one hath stirred up mischief in their hearts, and they are afflicted with a torment that none can avert. They hasten to the wicked, bearing the register of the workers of iniquity, such are their doings. Say, the heavens have been folded together, and the earth is held within his grasp, and the corrupt doers have been held by their forelock, and still they understand not. They drink of the tainted water, and know it not. Say, the shout hath been raised, and the people have come forth from their graves, and arising are gazing around them. Some have made haste to attain the court of the God of mercy, Others have fallen down on their faces in the fire of hell, while still others are lost in bewilderment. The verses of God have been revealed, and yet they have turned away from them. His proof hath been manifested, and yet they are unaware of it. And when they behold the face of the All-Merciful, their own faces are saddened, while they are disporting themselves. They hasten forward to hell fire, and mistake it for light. Far from God be what they fondly imagine. Say, whether ye rejoice or whether ye burst for fury, the heavens are cleft asunder, and God hath come down, invested with radiant sovereignty. All created things are heard exclaiming, The kingdom is God's, the Almighty, the All-Knowing, the All-Wise. Know thou, moreover, that we have been cast into an afflictive prison, and are encompassed with the hosts of tyranny, as a result of what the hands of the infidels hath wrought. Such is the gladness, however, which the youth hath tasted, and no earthly joy can compare unto it. By God, the harm he suffereth at the hands of the oppressor can never grieve his heart, nor can he be saddened by the ascendancy of such as have repudiated his truth. Say, tribulation is a horizon unto my revelation. The day star of grace shineth above it, and sheddeth a light which neither the clouds of men's idle fancy nor the vain imaginations of the aggressor can obscure. Follow thou the footsteps of thy Lord, and remember his servants even as he doth remember thee, undeterred by either the clamor of the heedless ones or the sword of the enemy. Spread abroad the sweet savors of thy Lord, and hesitate not, though it be for less than a moment in the service of his cause. The day is approaching when the victory of thy Lord, the ever-forgiving, the most bountiful, will be proclaimed.